Hello and welcome to another Game Developers Vlog about Copenhagen Crisis, a game which is very rapidly nearing finished state. Um, and I have a lot of things to cover, so let's get into it. The first thing you might notice are these rats sort of queuing up around me. Uh, they are queuing up around me because they are acting under the influence of uh, the enemy AI, uh, which tells them to go, go find you or go get you basically. Uh, and uh, I've been working a lot on their pathfinding routine, which uh, although very simple and stupid, uh, is at least uh, functional now. So that the, they will probably make out a, a credible threat to you in game. Another thing I've added is uh, a lot more solidity. Uh, so that these hedges that I'm standing inside of here uh, are solid. I can't walk through them, neither can the rats. Um, the rats can no longer walk through each other either, or through cars, uh, unless they are cannibal rats, like these uh, fellows trying to get at me. Um, in that case, they will climb over cars in order to get at you. <sighs> but the regular rats will not do that. Another thing that I've added is the ability to shoot rats, although that's that's not terribly <laughs> uh, complex code at all. Uh, I had that for shooting cars already, so it was a very simple adaption. Um, they can't hurt you yet, but they will be able to do that, for sure. Um, shooting has been updated so that instead of choosing precisely where you shoot, like you did before, uh, if, you, if I shot there, uh, the bullet would only travel that far and then stop. Um, now, when you shoot, you what you do is you, you, you choose the direction and then the, the bullet travels off until it goes off screen, basically, uh, in that direction, which is how it, wa how it was almost always supposed to be. I, for a while, I considered having it uh, or leaving it the way I had originally coded it, but that seemed to be... Uh, too, too difficult to handle uh, in game or in action during action <laughs> I want it to be quite easy to control this game um, of course because it's an action game um, what else um, pathfinding right uh, the way that these enemies appear is a new thing uh, when a rat enters the level it is al always a normal rat uh, like these guys here. Uh, but uh, upon entering, it gets um, a timer uh, associated with it, and which is uh, different for each rat. And once that timer reaches zero, it, it starts ticking down the moment they get, uh, the moment they appear. Uh, at that point, it, they change into a, a cannibal rat. This is supposed to reflect the fact that all of them are actually infected, but uh, the virus hasn't taken hold of all of them yet. So that rat actually managed to make it off screen again <laughs> before it turned. So you might say that you might um, consider that rat unaffected if you want. Or, you know, uh, <laughs> not unaffected, uh, uninfected. <laughs> But usually, you will see them turn at some point, and then they'll start going after you. Uh, I like this mechanic. Um, I hadn't planned on it for it to be like that originally, but uh, once I came up with it... <sighs> Sorry, it's late. Uh, <laughs> once I came up with it, I, uh, I thought it was uh, a neat uh, feature, and uh, upon thinking it through, I discovered that it was actually going to make coding a bit easier. Just a bit. Uh, so I think I've covered most things. I covered the way that I changed shooting and solidity, which is not now much more. <laughs> the, the game is more solid, as it were. And I covered the, the enemy rat AI. Well, uh, I might show you. Uh, you've seen the new green splat that happens when you shoot some of the rats. Uh, it's supposed to be green whenever you shoot an a cannibal rat, but uh, it doesn't seem to work every time. Sometimes it's red, uh, which it's supposed to be when you shoot a, a regular rat. Though you're not supposed to shoot the regular rats in the finished game. Um, that's a bug which I have to 
check uh, something that doesn't bug uh, is the car explosions which have also upda updated to be much larger and more and brighter <laughs> not more colorful but larger and brighter you're not supposed to shoot the cars either uh, shooting a civilian rat you know one that is not a cannibal rat uh, or a car will result in a game over in the finished product uh, but I'll probably add something like uh, hand grenades in order for you to be able to see these beautiful, large, bright explosions because they're colorful and uh, and cheery, <laughs> despite their their inherently violent nature. Anyway, uh, I started adding these as I was making sprites earlier today because uh, th this reminds me so much of the old games I used to play in the 90s, and a lot of those were very colorful. Uh, I guess because of the more limited color palette uh, on 16-bit systems. And um, hence I changed a few uh, of, of the sprites just a bit and it it, uh, it works really well. I like the way it looks. It, it's supposed to be a cheery game, a sort of up-tempo, upbeat game. Well, that's uh, just about it for today. Um, I still have pickups left. I think I mentioned those before. That's the last major thing I have left to do. Um, some stuff to pick up will be health, uh, grenades, and ammunition for your gun. Yes, you will have limited ammunition in order to make the, the game more interesting. Uh, he should be changing. Yeah, there we go. Very soon. Um, and of course, the pickups, which represent your mission objectives. Those haven't been programmed at all, but uh, I foresee no pro uh, trouble doing that at all. That's probably going to be very simple and quite quick to do. Um, more solid objects, of course, walls, so I can build, make buildings that stand here. It's a, ci it's supposed to be a city, <laughs> and uh, so far the only solid things are hedges. Now there are plenty of hedges in Copenhagen, but. Uh, <laughs> But more buildings, I think. <laughs> Excuse me, it is late. I've been working a lot today on this, uh, but I want to get this video done. That's it. If you want to find about, find out more about this, um, follow me through the links you find in the description of this video, please. And um, maybe subscribe to this channel. That would be very appreciated. With that, look on this game, um, I bid you all a good time of day, and goodbye. <laughs>